MMAviking.com here with the man of the hour, Gunnar Nelson. Welcome to Sweden, Gunnar. Thanks very much. Thank you. Do you feel in, in some ways your bout Saturday is almost like uh, a four-man tournament to get a shot for the title? You've called out Rory McDonald before, and he's fighting, I don't know what, six hours uh, after you. How do you see this set up in the welterweight division? Yeah, I mean, definitely. Whoever wins this fight, and, uh, if Rory wins this fight, hopefully we'll get to fight. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, fighting any of those guys in, in the, the top ten or top five for, for my next fight. Um, I'm also looking to, to take a short break after this. You know, I only recently had a kid, but then I'm, I'm right back on it and, and, and ready to fight one more and then hopefully get a title shot. So do you think maybe like uh, February, March type of timeline? Yeah, February would be perfect, yeah. Great. And uh, in, in coming back to Sweden here, and we talked to you about the, when you came here for the, the press, press conference, it seems like you think this bout might be something that uh, you see yourself could finish uh, quickly. Do you see yourself still being able to do that? Against Rory? Yeah. yeah, oh, no, yeah. Against Rick. Yeah, Rick Story. Against Rick Story, um, yeah, I um, always, I always have the same view. It, it's not about like Rick Story or Rory McDonald, or whoever it is we're talking about. It's about what I'm going to do, and, and I go in there and I do my thing. I don't focus on them, or or make up game plans. I just go in there and uh, get a feel for what's going on and react. And I always do believe that I can finish the fight, and and I won't delay it. You know. Uh, last question. Uh, I'm sure you watched UFC 178 last week, and your training partner Conor McGregor had an exciting finish. What do you uh, pick up when you see a, a teammate going out on a big platform like that and really coming through huge? Uh, there's always there's a huge momentum going on, obviously uh, uh, around SPG and around Conor. Uh, to be honest, it wasn't it was as expected what happened in this fight. For those who, who train with him and that know him, uh, maybe maybe it was a bit unexpected for for a lot of the fans and the people that know Dustin. But I, I expected it to go this way, and, and I'm very happy for him. And I know he's gonna go straight back into training. Uh, and however the fight goes, he, he learns a lot, and, and I look forward to to meeting him again over in Dublin or Iceland. Great. Well, thanks for your time and good luck Saturday. Thanks very much. Thank you.